join us for an evening of celebration. I'm going to zoom in a bit. The Provincial Advisory Council on the Status of Women, NL, an equal voice NL, invite you for light refreshments as we acknowledge female candidates running in this year's municipal election in St. John's. Here's a specific email. And on behalf of the Provincial Advisory and Equal Voice NL, I'd like to invite you to a celebration of women like you who have stepped up and put your name forward for Municipal Council. We're thrilled to see so many women running, and we want to celebrate this. Please join us as we recognize the women running for council. Joining us will be female MHAs, as provincial members of Parliament, members of the Advisory Council from across the province, community partners, some former female councils, members of Equal Voice. We hope you'll take the time from your busy campaign schedule to network and celebrate. <clears throat> Whoa, get this camera straight here. Hi, it's a very groggy Jennifer McCreeth. Got a bit of a throat thing going on, but uh, today is September 13th. Um, well, I'll say this, at least the provincial status of women folks invited me to their event. Um, however, I find this event a little bit peculiar, and uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure I'm ready to celebrate. I'm not just happy being on the ballot. I'm here to win a seat on City Council. And as nice as this event sounds, I would, one, suggest waiting till after the election to hold such an event. Because right now, I'm, I'm busy right now, I'm making sure. Um, my supporters are getting their ballots. Um, there's a mail-in ballot system, making sure that a lot of people have already gotten their ballots and they've already voted. So in some ways the campaign has completely switched. It's not so much encouraging people to vote for you and read your platform, it's making sure those who have already told you they're voting for you, making sure they've got their ballots. And uh, yeah, most importantly, me or any other counselor, I won't speak for everyone else, but I know I can make my most solid, strongest contributions to this city and make this city better by being on city council. There's only so much I can do as a candidate and as someone who's not elected. This is my third kick at the can. I've run in two previous elections. I uh, lost badly in the first two. And quite frankly, I will not be celebrating um, a loss. Um, I think it's great that there are women candidates running. At the same time, I will say that some of these candidates aren't very good. I've already come out and said, don't vote just based on sex or gender. And I would say the same thing to uh, members of the LGBT community watching this. Don't vote for me or choose not to vote for me based on my sexual orientation or my gender identity or my gender expression. Um, ultimately, we need people who can come in to city council and do a better job. My one and only suggestion would be to throw out all incumbents and not vote for them, as well as not vote for any past former councillors. I think we need a clean slate, we need a batch of new ideas, new talent. There, there's too much secrecy and too much corruption going on right now in City Hall. There's a time and a place to talk about demographics, minorities, and, and getting involved, but uh, right now um, I'm not ready to celebrate, so I appreciate the invite. Um, I'm glad I was included on the invite, um, unlike some of the other women's organizations out there that uh, chose not to invite me to their events. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to take a pass on this one. Nothing personal, um, but uh, just making it clear that uh, I'm not ready to celebrate. I'm, I'm focusing on uh, getting elected. There's still another, well, let's see here, 14, 15 days left in the campaign, and I'm doing everything I can to get make sure I get elected. Um, Tell you what, uh, if I do get elected, I will uh, co-organize with you folks some sort of a celebratory um, event to honor all new members of council. 
Um, so yeah, there you have it. That, those are my thoughts. Um, there seems to be a lot of attention paid to women either being on the ballot or not getting elected. It's definitely a, a worthy conversation that needs to be addressed. Same time, I think it's something we need to talk about year round. It's not just something to focus on now during the election. And uh, so there you have it. There are my thoughts on that. Don't vote for someone based on sex or gender. And vote for somebody who's got the right tools and the right experience. And someone ultimately who you think can relate to you. Um, put someone on city council that you feel you can go to and, and talk to and trust will understand your concerns and your issues and go to bat for you. Right now, this so-called rich old boys club, there's a lot of rich people on city council. They don't know what it's like to worry about taking the bus or sh walking on snow-covered sidewalks. Um, so yeah, vote for someone like me. I've got work experience in government policy development and... I've lived paycheck to paycheck most of my life, so I rely on things like bus schedules and being able to walk on, on a sidewalk that's not covered with snow and things like that. Anyways, I'm rambling on here. Appreciate the uh, all of you folks who are watching my videos. Um, thank you very much.